So does your local, like like you said, well, I don't want to play Blitz. So I'm going to go play LL. You're, you're telling me you have folks in your area that will just not go play Blitz and win a prize just because they don't want to play it? Uh, so what I've, what we found in my area, and this is actually, is that, uh, it's funny cause I was just thinking about that and having a conversation with somebody about that today is that we found that if, when you focus too heavily on the competitive so side of the card game, sometimes you forget that that's not what everybody is at the LGS for. And in fact, that. That's not what most people are at the LGS for. We're, we're there to hang out and have fun. And even though there are prizes on the line, there will always be somebody who's there to spike the tournament. You're never going to avoid that. Right. But well, we can never yeah. lose sight. I mean, that's, that's, we, we I guess that's my point. We can never lose the fact that we're here, to, we're here to have fun. And so... But but that one person that I you just spoke to... I, I know I'm interrupting you, Caleb, but like to, that, that one person that... You just spoke to that. That one person who comes and spikes it ruins the fun for everybody. I mean, isn't that the problem statement we have in Flesh and Blood? I do agree that when there's a deck like Zen, it's hard to be able to say, here's ways to beat it. Because in my testing, there are no real consistent ways to beat it. It just is... If there, if this was a, if this was a test, he's the only correct answer. It's the power level he's at. Um, so we just need to let him viscerai and get him out of here. I mean, that's that's the answer, right? I think that's the, I think the answer is to do your part and get him his five live, get him his five living legend points at your local skirmish. If if he wins a hundred, what? Less than 100 skirmishes. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't foresee him making it out of the season. 